All right, guys, I'm here with Crystal. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. As I've been saying, there's no uh, proper show this week, but we'll be back at it next week. That includes Crystal Kyle and Friends. No Crystal Kyle and Friends this week either. But um, anyway, there's still a bunch of stuff going on that I want to talk about. So uh, did you see Trump's Christmas message? I saw part. I just saw people quoting it. Okay. You yes. want me to give it to you? Yes. You want it in the voice and everything? Of course. Okay. Merry Christmas to all, including Crooked Joe Biden's only hope, deranged Jack Smith, the out-of-control lunatic who just hired outside attorneys fresh from the swamp, unprecedented, <laughs> to help him with his poorly executed witch hunt against Trump and MAGA, <laughs> included also our world leaders, both good and bad, but none of which are as evil and sick as the thugs we have inside our country who, with their open borders, inflation... Afghanistan surrender, green new scam, high taxes, no energy independence, woke military, Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Iran, all electric car lunacy, and so much more are looking to destroy our once great USA. May they rot in hell. Uh, <laughs> Again, Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's almost like an AI like parody of Trump. Yeah. So, it does feel it does feel a little like like he's trying too hard with it. Yeah. You know? but, but you know what? Actually, my takeaway is a little different. This is only my second time reading it. Yeah. But my takeaway was Oh, he just got a new prescription of Adderall. Because mm. he is flying, son. He's <laughs> off the wall. He listed like seven different issues. Well, I I miss when there was a character limit, you know? Yeah, just like wrap it up, dog. Yeah. Wrap it up. I mean, but this is true social, not... Uh, yeah, I know, but I miss when he was on Twitter and there was a yeah. character limit. Because he was one of the greatest all-time posters. Yeah. But this is just, you know, this is way too long. No one's going to read all this. It's, it gets well, we it's just tired. <laughs> Bet Midler's a low-energy loser. That was when it was like the greatest hits. Yeah. Wrapped it up quick. Everybody's laughing. Exactly, having a good time. Exactly. Get out while people still want more, you know. But what everybody's pointing out is the may they rot in hell thing. And they were, people were comparing it with Biden's message, which was the most bland, vanilla, regular of politician course. message of all time. And of they course. were like, look, here's a real man who's facilitating a genocide. And here's an unhinged man who will also facilitate a genocide. Such great choices we have yeah. in American so, democracy. Uh, so that, that didn't. I saw this and I was like, that's kind of classic Trump. It's kind of funny. He said, may, may they rot in hell. But I didn't, I didn't think much of it. But then today, he, he uh, posted on Truth Social. I don't know if you saw this. You know those, um, when that polling company does like the word association game? Yeah, this is the, the company that we use at Breaking Points for our um, focus groups, JL Partners. Yeah. They do these word cloud things. So they'll say, okay, Donald Trump, what word comes to mind? And people will say, what word comes to mind? And then they'll do this thing where it's like the bigger the word is, the more people said that word, right? So for Trump's, the number one word that people said when you bring up Donald Trump is revenge. This is, they asked him specifically, what does he most want to achieve for a second term as president? And the number one oh, was revenge. Okay. And then the second thing is power, followed by probably a tie, a tie. Yeah, maybe economy is a touch bigger than dictatorship which is also very big dictator is also fairly large so i yeah. feel like if you put dictatorship and dictator together you probably oh, are beating economy that's a good point yeah <laughs> and so and then Next a couple people said america. america some people said nothing some people said border some people what is, what is donald trump most want to achieve in a second term as president america <laughs> what <laughs> that's like the eric adams answer and it's like what word comes to mind to describe this year and he's like New York. <laughs> what single word <laughs> would you use to describe this year? New York, because of 9-11. It's a beautiful what? city. You could wake up one day, see planes <laughs> crashing into a tower, and then see somebody open a small business late in the day. That went mega viral. That, that so was very, much. you watch it like, I'd walk in the I middle of the day and she's lot. watching it again for like the seventh time. I was like, you really love that clip, <laughs> don't you? I love that clip. So anyway, it worked for me on every level. Anyway, this is not a good sign. Yeah, so he shared this. He didn't put any any commentary he just shared this bubble thingy on his truth social. And it's like, he was almost like showing it off. Like, look, here's what I want to do in my second term. I, I want to do revenge. I want to do a dictatorship. It's like when he answered that question from Sean Hannity, I don't want to be a dictator except day one. And one day I'll do the border. I'll do this. I'll do that. And it's like, he's really not hiding it. Right. Ever since he did the, um, I mean, he tried to overthrow the last election. That was a sign enough what he wants to do. Right. But um, there's been a number of moments like, I'm going to terminate the Constitution. Those things are sort of like, it doesn't matter what he does, though. Like, there's still, the Republican base just loves him. They just love him. 
Uh, to me, there's also a sense with him, both with this, with the like, you know, poisoning the blood of our nation, like yeah, he's been saying that a lot. Yeah, Nazi rhetoric that he's using. I also feel like there's an element of it takes more to get that same like trigger the libs response than it used to. Oh, that's a good point. I like, didn't people think have that. sort of like built up a tolerance to the sort of rhetoric that yeah. he used in 2016, which now seems like tame in comparison to immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country is, is a whole other level than, you know, they're rapists, they're criminal and some are, I assume are fine people. So I feel like there's also an effort just to make sure he's still has his magic touch of uh, of generating outrage and triggering the libs. I also kind of agree with a point Corrin made a long time ago now, which is that he's doing it on purpose. So, like, he knew that the poison the blood of our country, he, he like, A, B tested it. It got a huge reaction when he first said it, and he's like, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. And it's oh, like oh, when absolutely. liberal outlets get really pissed at him, he's like, that's it. That's I'm going to go with this no, one. That's, that's exactly right. Because my the argument thing was, that people love about him on his side is the way he makes pe- the, like, the people they hate freak out. And so, yeah, that's the whole game. And it doesn't matter how offensive what he says is or, like, how terrible what he says is. If he's getting the rise and the reaction he wants, that's the whole goalpost for him. See, my argument in the past was, no, he just sort of has verbal diarrhea. And he just says whatever. And, like, that's the end of it. Like, he's not that smart. He's just sort of rambling. And he's, like, a boomer Fox News grandpa. And, like, he'll stumble across things that the right wing base likes. That was what I thought. Now, no, I've seen this too many times. Like, I know what he's doing. I know he's like, I'm going to find the thing that pisses off liberals and leftists the most. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to repeat it. And then when they say, I can't say that, I'm going to say it again. Yeah. And then that's the thing. That's the formula. I You know, and like Ron DeSantis could never, he can't like catch on to something like that, do do something like that. It's so like strategic, actually, when you look at it, even though he's a total moron. Uh, Before we wrapped up, though, I wanted to share, because we have the Biden word bubble here, too. Like, what does Biden want to accomplish in the second term? Oh, this is brutal. Oh, this is so brutal. It's so accurate, though. I can't imagine anything else coming to mind, honestly, than this one word. People should, like, think in your head what you would say to what does Joe Biden most want to achieve from a second term as president. I would say genocide because he wants to finish the genocide in Gaza, right? Like done by then. So it's a little nicer than mine, but uh, literally the number one answer people gave is nothing because he's not campaigning on anything. He hasn't released an agenda. He hasn't mentioned a single policy he wants to do in a second term. So it's nothing. You get, like, I guess the, the number two is some, peop- some people said economy. What does Joe Biden want to do in a second term? Economy? <laughs> Again, that's like the New York thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's the New York answer from Eric Adams. America. <laughs> Trump, Trump. <laughs> Trump is up there. What do you want to do? What does he, Biden want to do in the second term? Trump. Just beat Trump. I mean, that's the reality, I guess. Some people said peace, to be fair. That's relatively large. <laughs> what a lie. Yeah, totally. Power, <laughs> democracy, money. Money? I don't even know what that means. But the number one thing they said when asked about Joe Biden, Trump got revenge, Biden got nothing. And you know what? People summed it up perfectly. I think they got it exactly right. Yeah, that yeah, that's accurate. Because it's not like Trump is really running on an affirmative agenda either. Right. It really is this campaign of like power and retribution. Yeah, and so. Project 2025, which is just what all the right wing think tanks want. It's like totally destroy the administrative state and the regulatory mm-hmm. state. You know, put total yeah. loyalists in positions of power and I do whatever I want. Unitary executive, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Which is a nice word of saying dictator. But anyway. What a sad place we're in. Indeed. All right, guys, there you have it. Wanted to give you some updates and I'll talk to you soon.